right, we are recording. Oh, you got a cat in the background. <laughs> it's my familia. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, familia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long do you reckon it'll be before you actually end up eating it? Meeting who? Eating. They're a commodity now. Eating him? I would have to be in things, well, I never would, simple. No, there now, you go. Before you do anything else, yeah. what are you going to do with this recording? Oh, this only goes out on the channel. This is just you and I chatting. I just want to know what it's like in Malta because people over here, all right, we've got the, the BBC, but how much do you actually believe, you know, um, when you've got people on the street that are actually living it, that's the best form of information and we know that the facts would be true. So it's really just to give us an insight. What can I tell you about what it's like being in Malta at the moment? Well, they they reacted fairly quickly to it, actually, I think. Um, and about uh, two weeks ago, well, no, it was longer than that, four weeks ago, they decided anybody that was coming back from Italy had to go into quarantine for two weeks. So right. th that's what happened, and they did that immediately. Uh, they've done that ever since with people who've been coming back from countries that are infected and people seem to be adhering to that uh, two weeks ago they shut the schools down um, uh, which was a good move and now people are home homeschooling well, as far as we can obviously we're all uh, in at the deep end trying to do what we can now they have shut down the non-essential shops. Last week they shut down the restaurants um, and just left the supermarkets and other shops open. Now they've shut down the non-essentials and it's a case of uh, just the food shops uh, that we can go to, which is fine. What does work really well in this little country is that it has um, – a huge family core at its centre. So the support system, in terms of uh, layers of family, is incredible. And then they're all out to support each other, which they do every day anyway. Because right. you're in Malta, Along right? In Malta, yeah. Yeah. So the grandparents, it's normal for the grandparents to have a great deal to do with their grandchildren and to look after them while their kids go to work and repeat the cycle it, it's normal um great lots of aunts and uncles it's a very it's a catholic country and uh with a big catholic population and and um with the family at the center of it one of the things that does work really well here is that every village has vegetable wagons and they they always come round and they still do so there's a vegetable wagon every morning parked in the square with fresh vegetables that everybody can go to. There's um, uh, gas wagons come round with all the gas canisters for people that cook on gas, which is still very common here. The fish wagon comes